What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it. At this time, uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. I want to talk top five players at each offensive position. And it. what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw you a curveball. Wide receivers and tight ends, one feet, one class. Oh boy, they are pass catchers. I'm not going to do tight end wide receiver as a split. I want them to be together. And we're just because I feel a, like they're. Do you want to do just a few spot? We're not going to go like down every position. No, let's just do offensive for now, and then we can do. I want to. I want to get Spillane in on some of this as yeah, well. Yeah, I was about to say maybe to you pick debate. like maybe you pick three, and then it's a recurring thing. It's up to you. Well, let's just give me your top five at each position. We'll do quarterback, running back, uh, wide receiver slash tight end, top five, and then we'll we'll debate amongst ourselves, and then we'll get Spillane in next time Deal. and talk about that as well because I know we love debate, and we haven't I had the, like the schedules line up quite yet to be able to do that, and that's fine because I enjoy, I enjoy this one-on-one -on -one time with both of you. Oh, no, no, uh, I know, but I like the three-way. Yes, like the, 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 the debate is always a good time. Let's hit quarterback because I Love think it. I know what you're going to do, but I think we Ooh. have the same number one always and forever. Uh, it's Patrick Mahomes. Easily. Patty Mahomes is Uno. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. is Dos. Obviously, I'm dead ass staring at lists here. I have for me, oh boy, I guess just because I'm basing it on what I really think like. And that's what you asked for. It's what we I think about. It's Russ. That's yeah. not because of you. That's just because yeah. that's what I think. Now is where I get upset with even myself because this is I'm basing this on last year only and the and the ceiling. Josh Allen, Deshaun. That's where I'm. Ooh, at. I love the inclusion of Josh Allen. I, love I hate it. it because I'm a Dolphin fan, but right. it, I'm realistic in he did things that don't seem like they would go backwards. The, right. the getting the ball out better, the it, faster on the getting the ball out, more accurate. He was doing things that didn't look fluky. That's the difference of like a guy that runs a lot. He also brought down some of the running. He was too run heavy. I was just going to say, Ooh. he did the opposite of a Lamar. Yes. Where so he that, leaned in. He was like, I'm going to throw this because that's what this position is. Yes. And... I hate it because it, it makes it harder on Miami. That's that's my top five. I'm sticking to it. Can anyone – what would it take to, to move Patrick Mahomes out of the number one spot for you? Oh, my God. It's not possible right now. I'm sorry. Because if you have watched that Super Bowl, in a losing effort, the man looks like he's able to do things that no one else on the field is able to do in a losing effort with a toe that needed to be uh, surgically repaired. Right. So I don't, I I'm putting him over the MVP and I think you will too. So yeah. the, because, and I love Aaron and I think Aaron has all of it, but I think when we're looking at the end of their careers, if all things are the same in terms of health, right? Little dings here and there, Patrick Mahomes has a chance. I don't think anyone's going to catch Brady. He has a chance to have three plus Super Bowls easily in his career. Easily. Yeah. I, I Brady's gonna be a tough he's gonna be tough to catch. No, you don't catch seven. Nobody caught Russell with eleven in basket. Nobody you don't catch that. You just you aspire to that. Correct. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do very similar. I'm, you, Patrick Mahomes is number one. Aaron Rodgers Just, is number two. Rodgers would need to. Rodgers would need to to beat back. Father Time in order to be on the same level as Patrick Mahomes and know everything he knows right now. Patrick Mahomes, I think, has had the the benefit of seeing a Mike Vick play, That's of right. seeing Tom Brady play, of seeing all of the Peyton Manning play. I I know you and I have talked about this before, but the the coolest thing that I'm gonna get to tell my children is that I got to grow up in a in a and watch football in a time when the position was completely changed That's and right. I still got to watch some of the greatest pocket passers of all time. Yes. And now I get to see the beginning of Patrick oh, Mahomes, who I believe to be the next, the next he is, tier of he, greatness. Correct. And he might be the new prototype. And what right. I mean by that is every single GM coach and owner is looking for the next Pat Mahomes. Yeah. That's, what that means. And that's why you're number one when everyone is looking for the next you. This only happens each generational cycle that you're the guy. Everyone says, yeah, I, I would love to to get one that does what he does. Right. And I think that started in that Russell Wilson, Cam Newton time in it that did. general vicinity. But I think Patrick Mahomes, again, having seen that, having been in college around that time, saw that and went, I'm going to do that, but better and oh, for yeah. longer. He, and that's what he's doing. And it, and I know Russ has the longer career and the credentials. I just think Pat's ceiling is higher than Russ's. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's already got two five, $5, uh, 5 yard seasons. Yeah. I think that like, he has he's fastest to every single quarterback metric. So with the least interception somehow. Correct. That's the weird thing is that the dude protects the ball in ways that even Peyton didn't. And that's my guy. Peyton yeah. set the record for the most interceptions as a rookie. Opposite effect for Patty Mahomes goes a hundred touchdowns and like six, 12 interceptions or something right. stupid. It's maybe it's 17. It's so low. It's so stupidly low. Sorry. Go ahead. So, uh, Patty, Aaron, uh, gotta go Russ number three. Uh, it's, a, it's a home pick, same. but also same. I love, I, I, I think that he brings things that some other guys wish that yeah. they could. Yeah. I did. I put him at three cause I mean it though. It wasn't just for you. I'm going to also put Josh Allen at four just because I think the I think like all of the intangibles are there. I really do. Five, I'm going off board, crazy, wild. I'm going just based on career yes. and where I think this person is going to end up this year, 2021 yeah. season, Maddie yeah. Stafford. Oh, I love that. I, I have no issue with that whatsoever. I think what's really fun about that is you're either going to be – right or so very wrong so it, wrong yeah it's not there's <laughs> it's no gonna like be one of two things there's no like he's either he gonna have almost, a career year yeah he's not gonna be like six seven he's no. either gonna get to that level you're talking about or it's a fucking on fire situation and jared goff is ripping it in, <laughs> in detroit or something and again i do not think that's the, the reality i think stafford has a chance that's i overlooked him i like i stand by what i said but to your point of why you pick Stafford, there's a chance my guy doesn't play. My five, Deshaun, might not play. <laughs> it's true. He might sit. And I love Deshaun. I, I, I do think – but if, if Deshaun goes to Chicago, I don't see Deshaun throwing for 5,000 yards, yeah. 35 You're right. touchdowns. You're right. So there's a lot in the air for me there. Russ always has those intangibles and has been running for his life his whole career. Yep. So not Stafford super has concerned. assets in L.A., really. I, I wasn't he even – has it in Detroit since Calvin. So uh, I no. have to think that Sean McVay is going to take the best parts of his system, the parts where Jared Goff ex was exceeding expectations. Matthew Stafford's a better quarterback than Jared Goff. Every, every single way. In every facet of the game. And he's not going to try to fuck his wife. He's not going to try and fuck McVay's wife. So, like, that's already in a better position than Goff. I, I, I'm i going out on a limb. I was going to either do him or Kyler, and I... We yeah. pooped on the on Arizona, and I was like, you know what? I can't go Kyler. I'm gonna go Stafford because, and I like him. He's a blue collar yes. guy. He doesn't yeah. miss he doesn't miss games for injury. He's like, There's oh, I don't a have a back, of, but I'm gonna still throw for 300 yards and you know. A lot of people are gonna be rooting for Stafford this year, and and for good reason, I think. 